Hello everyone. I'm making this video today to address the publishers of the world with a proposition. Today I'd like to extend a handout to any publishing company that would like to work with me to take Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series that I'm currently working on, to the next level by helping me give it the love and attention that I think this series deserves. As we speak, there are 14 volumes of Sherry Arbor's story, with more volumes planned for the future, with volume 1 being in its drafting stage, meaning that I've given out multiple copies of volume 1 to some of the people that are close to me for further inspection and criticisms in regards to the story itself along with any mistakes that might follow. I've decided that once this video goes live, I will be directly emailing and messaging the publishing companies mentioned below. Speaking of which, if any publisher is looking at this video and wishes to reach out to me, be sure to look in the description of this video for various social media that you can contact me through. If you're a publisher that is not mentioned below, don't fret. You still have just as much the right to contact me as any other publisher mentioned below, so please make yourself known. Now, I think it's time I actually tell you all what Sherry Arbor's story is. Sherry Arbor's story is a light novel series about a young girl named Sherry Arbor and her life as a secondary school student in a world where heroes and villains exist and fight in the background of her everyday and normal life. Because of the world she lives in, she was extremely lucky to have been saved by Joe Nightflyer when she was younger from almost being killed by vehicular manslaughter. Ever since that day, Sherry has been yearning for the day that she may get the chance to physically meet Joe Nightflyer in the flesh once more and tell him how grateful she is for saving her life when she was younger. Sherry goes on with her normal life for years on end until she manages to see something from Joe Nightflyer and School Entertainment Inc get leaked on a collaborative project that they were both working on, which may allow Sherry to finally realise her goal of meeting Joe Nightflyer and meet him finally in the flesh. Now with this basic introduction out of the way, let me introduce you all to the characters that I have revealed so far from Sherry Arbor's story. Please note though that all of the art shown are concept pieces and may be freely changed when the volume that involves them and their art comes out. First up, we have Psycho Patricia. Psycho Patricia is a psychotic character that Joseph Nightflyer has been fighting with for over half a decade now and shows no signs of stopping, even with her recent forced collaboration with a secret organisation that has yet to be named. Psycho Patricia is a strong sword-wielding psychopath that has dedicated her life to fawning over men all over Janiki, for longer than Joseph Nightflyer has been around on Janiki himself. Psycho Patricia kills these men based on her own mood towards them or the men's actions against her terrifying life goals. Next we have Lila Corcoran. Lila Corcoran is an acquaintance of Sherry Arbor as she heads towards her final year of secondary school whilst doing odd jobs like babysitting to get by whilst her boyfriend is in the final stages of setting up his own business in the close future. Lila's only true friend in life is her boyfriend, but will soon realise there's more to being content with being stunning and beautiful for her friends to admire and acknowledge her. Next up is Claire Frandon. Claire Frandon, even though she looks younger than all the other character concepts shown so far, is the same age as Sherry Arbor, but has had a horrible upbringing. So much so that she is malnourished. Her older sister was in the same boat with her, until her departure from secondary school, entry into college and her move into her boyfriend's house. Claire Frandon hates Sherry Arbor for a currently unknown reason. Claire has been bullying Sherry Arbor at every given moment at school and has been consistent for the most part for over five years or so. It would be an understatement to say that Claire would stop at nothing but to see Sherry miserable and depressed for her own twisted views on life. Next up is Joseph Nightflyer in his Joseph Minosov disguise. Joseph Nightflyer was the original protagonist of this universe, but has taken a back seat in Sherry Arbor's story instead. Joseph Nightflyer is Janiki's most prolific hero by force due to his heinous crimes that he has committed to the Janikan populace during his golden phase. Joseph Nightflyer flies around and shoots beams of energy out of his hands like the Man of Iron, as Joseph Nightflyer himself would say. Joseph Nightflyer may seem far away from the story initially, but himself and Sherry's stories do cross over one another throughout the whole story. All it took was for one event to leak by one of Joseph Nightflyer's enemies to start this connected story of civilian and hero. And now for the final character I'll be talking about, Sherry Arbor herself. 
Sherry Arbor is the protagonist of this story and is just like any normal secondary school student on Janiki. Regardless of her position in life and the people who have abandoned her in the past, she still smiles whilst heading forward into the future, even if that future only has herself in it. But once Sherry starts her shopping spree to find and buy everything she needs for school the next day, her life starts to slowly change for the better. Sherry's life starts to introduce her dream of meeting Joseph Flyer as early as Volume 2, which will send her on a road of excitement and determination to see this pathway through, even if they end up at a roadblock later down the road. Now that I've introduced the characters of Sherry Arbor's story, let me introduce a bit of the planet in the hometown of Sherry Arbor herself. The home planet of every character shown and mentioned is called Janiki, whilst Inkava is another planet that is just neighbouring them, which also has inhabitants that are just like humans too. Janiki is another name for Earth, since Janiki itself is where you would end up if you were to travel to one of the potentially infinite other parallel universes that has an Earth in it. This planet consists of mainly English-speaking Janikans, around 99.99% to be exact, and as places, traditions and technology, they are almost identical to Earth's if you took things from the past, the present and Earth's possible future so that you can mush it all together into this planet's present time. For example, the dishwasher is a technology that many households have today on Earth, but on Janiki, the concept of a dishwasher has still not been invented yet. Whilst the cars of Jayland have almost completely converted from fossil fueled cars to hybrid, electric and or hydrogen cars. Whilst Janiki is the planet that Sherry resides on, her hometown's name is Dwindarabe. It's a little town that is reminiscent of an average Irish town in the suburban areas of Ireland, whilst having a bit of a mixture of a town with tall office buildings that nearly resemble tiny skyscrapers and office working blocks blended into it for reasons that are mentioned throughout Sherry Arbor's story. Even though it has one primary school, it also has two secondary schools that divide the junior cycle students onto one campus and to transition and senior cycle students onto the other campus, again, for reasons that are mentioned in Sherry Arbor's story itself. Now, let me briefly mention the logo for Sherry Arbor's story, since as of right now, it's what you're seeing on screen. It's a logo that I've grown fond of over time myself since commissioning this artwork from VTuber Graphics and Fiverr, but maybe temporary if the logo needs to be redesigned for a number of reasons. Thank you so much for watching this video. Whether you're a viewer of the creation of Sherry Arbor's story or a publishing company giving me the time of day to listen to the new light novel series idea that I have to propose, I look forward to working with one of you in the future, if you do want to reach out to me or receive a message from me in the future. Thank you again so much for watching and listening.